Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you three different methods for adding parallax to your images in Wix Studio. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first method is we're gonna add a background image here to the section and add parallax to it. So what we're gonna do is have a section selected. We're gonna go to add media and we're just gonna select an image really quickly. And with this image now added, what we can now do is come over to the background scroll effects in this little toolbar here and we can easily select parallax as an option and once we preview the website you're going to see a very nice parallax effect here on the section but let's say we don't want to have the parallax be on the section but let's say we don't want to have parallax on the section itself let's say we split this section into two cells maybe this right cell can be content and maybe over here on the left cell we're going to want to have some sort of image and we're going to want it to have some sort of parallax to do this here in wix studio what we're going to want to do is come over to interactions we're going to come down to scroll and we're going to add a scroll interaction now for this we want to choose the move option here and we also want to make sure for the animation path we're setting it from to its design to from its design so just make sure that the animation path says from its design once we have that selected let's go down to adjust animation and now we can kind of tweak the parallax effect here for the angle what you're going to want to do is set it to 180 because parallax effect typically has the image moving down and for the distance let's just go ahead and set this to maybe 200 400 may be a bit extreme and then for the animation area let's go ahead and set this from 0 to 100. Now this little red line here that you now see here in Wix Studio represents our scale here in the like little preview. So as I'm scrolling down, you're noticing the red line is kind of moving. And if I scroll back up, it's kind of a good representation of where you are in the viewport or in the animation area. But as I'm kind of previewing this, you're gonna kind of notice a little bit of an issue. It's pushing the image down just like we want. However, now there's just this random white space here. So if we go back over to the design tab here in the inspector panel, what we're gonna to want to do is actually come down to the position, go down to docking, and if you remember, we are moving the image by 200 pixels. So we're gonna come over to the top margin and we're gonna set this to negative 200 pixels, just like that. So now we have a new issue here. Our image is exceeding the limitations of our section here, and maybe we don't want that. So this is gonna be an easy fix. All we have to do is select the section itself and we can come down to overflow content and we can set this from show to hide. And now when we go ahead and preview the section here, we'll notice that we have a nice parallax effect. Now I will say that maybe 200 wasn't enough for you. Well, that is an easy fix. We can come back over to the interactions, go to the move effects, adjust the animation, and maybe we want to do something more like 300 pixels. And also we can switch this over to a responsive value, which is actually a lot smarter. And since this is a responsive value, we're not gonna use the 300, we're gonna use 30. So now that we have this set here, let's remember 30 VW. We'll go back over to the design tab, come back down to the position and docking, and we will change this top margin from negative 200 pixels to negative 30 VW. And now when we preview the website, you'll notice that the parallax effect is a little bit more prominent or more noticeable. That is one thing that I do like about this method for adding parallax here in Wix Studio, is we have a little bit more control over the speed of the parallax. Before with Editor X and Wix Classic, once you select parallax, there's no way to really edit it. However, with Wix Studio, we actually have more control and we can have it be a more subtle or more noticeable parallax effect. But let's say, for example, we don't want it to be in a section, but maybe instead we just want to have like a floating image like this and we want to add parallax. However, if we go over to interactions, scroll effect, press move and set the animation path from to its design to from its design, 
and adjust the animation. Once again, we're gonna set this to 180. Maybe this time we'll do like 10 VW. Uh, let's do like 20 VW, something like that. And we just adjust the animation area again. However, this is just gonna move the image. It is giving it kind of a cool effect where the image is moving down. However, this is not parallax, right? So what we're gonna wanna do is with this image selected, we're gonna right click and place it in a container. Now that it's in a container, we're gonna make sure that we stretch the image. Oops. What we're gonna want to do is click on the image itself and make sure it is stretched inside of the container here. Then just like we did with this image above, we're gonna come down to the position and we're gonna set the top margin to negative 20 VW something like that. Now, of course, using the breadcrumbs, we're gonna select the container and we're gonna set the overflow content of the container from show to hide. So now when we go ahead and preview the website, you're gonna notice that this container with the image inside of it now has a nice parallax effect. Now I do wanna bring something to your attention with this method though. Let's say for this image, I wanna round the edges. I'm really liking the style of rounded edge uh, pictures or imagery on websites. And if I go ahead and do that and preview the website, you're gonna notice it no longer has the rounded edge corners. That's not quite how it works. So how can we add rounded edge corners to our images, uh, to our parallax images here in Wix Studio? What we're gonna want to do is select the container itself. And what I'm gonna do is come over to add, and I'm just gonna add a shape. Now with this shape selected, Let's press change basic shape and in the search, I'm going to look up corner. Once we have corner, we can select it and add the page. We'll change the color to white and for the width and height, we're going to set both of these to 24 pixels. Now with this one, this one would be the top left corner. So what we're going to do is send it to the top left. Next, let's copy and paste it. We'll send this one to the right and top. And what we're going to want to do is come down to adjust and we're gonna want to flip it horizontally. Perfect. Now let's copy and paste this again. For this one, we want to send this to the bottom right. And for this one, we're gonna want to adjust vertically. Finally, let's copy and paste it one more time. We'll send this one to the left bottom and we're gonna flip it horizontally. So now we have a container that has a nice rounded edge to it. And when we preview the website with the parallax image, it's gonna look really, really clean. So that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.